April the 3rd. It's a Tuesday. It's completely raining outside. So I thought I'd have a go at making the film that's been in my head for months. And I've just never been asked to move the furniture. So here I am um, attempting to make a gobo out of a cornflakes box, which will, when it hits the wall, will look like blind. The idea is, really, you may wonder why the angle, I can't be asked to faff around with a tripod. Um, the idea is that I've taken the side of a cornflakes box. Here's the bit that I haven't used. And I've scored lines down it with this bad boy and here leaving two tabs either side I've sellotaped I've cut and sellotaped if you can make that out mm -hmm. um, slits to give it a curve because what I found is when you're putting it on the redhead um, you get bleeds you get black spots you get everything because this doesn't curve out so in order to let the light through so as I will demonstrate now hopefully it should work Ta -da! blinds can you see that can you see blinds play with lighting it's so cheap I mean it's one of the cheapest things you can do for a production and um, it just adds interest I'm going to move the light all the way back to the back wall and hopefully that way it'll eliminate in a fashion that black bit there which just isn't that's nothing to do with it's nothing to do with my cornflakes box that's to do with the light being so cheap um, so I'm going to try and eliminate that and we'll see what we end up but here's the light take a look at the beautiful light ah oh. <laughs> Homemade gobo at its best. Right, believe it or not, um, I've been at this now all day, um, basically getting everything ready to film. And so it's taken me pretty much all day just ironing the bed linen that, which is going to be the like kind of night shirty type thing, and the nurse's outfit. And basically moving all the furniture that was here down into there. That is now my hallway all the way along. You can barely get through, as you can see. Um, it's never looked so good. Right, and then obviously here we have the equipment ready to go. So that's the lights for the blinds. Uh, blacked out the windows, generally, you know. Um, Mic ready to go, tripod ready to go. Hello, evening. Um, okay, so 3rd of April. Um, further to my update about making said gobo out of a cornflakes box. It's gone incredibly well. Um, <laughs> as well as it can do. Oh dear. Um, yeah, I've managed to get um, four shots done which are the kind of like the you know the uh, the nighty shots just waking up and walking out the door really very simple tiny tiny sequence and it's actually quite shocking we're now at about 10 past 11 i think um let's have a look yeah nine minutes past the 23 of the hour of the clock um, yeah, so, I mean, I thought it was half night, I really did, I genuinely thought it was half night, um, so, I mean, that's amazing just how long it takes to do summer film anything when you're just filming it by yourself, because you are, you're doing all the, all the jobs, and there isn't, normally those jobs are getting done simultaneously so half an hour you're shooting um, but if you've got 
say four or five jobs that's two two and a half hours figuring out what the lighting setup was going to be I've been <laughs> um, do you know what with the lighting with the look of it actually I'm incredibly impressed I really I'm quite proud I I am this evening um it looks the way it should do in my mind generally you know I don't think I could have got any better it looks visually interesting um, I've, I've only done four shots but you know they're quality you know so I'm more than happy with that I would rather have one shot that was quality and it took 10 hours to get that or whatever than you know a hundred shots that just look crap like none of them you'd you'd want on your showreel April the 4th and it's snowing Thursday, 5th of April, um, and it's a wrap on Awaken, yay! Um, I just wanted to basically sort of prove just what can be achieved with no money, no nothing, um, and a little bit of a resourcefulness. So, as you can see, this is my general setup for the, the last shot, which was the mirror reflection. Um, didn't quite pan out as I'd like seen it in my head but um, you know happy with it either way there we have our lovely bedside table lamp which is being used as a sort of fill from the reflector uh, there's my road um, so, so it didn't cast shadows um, incredibly difficult actually with mirrors and stuff to just you know sort them out this was my lighting stand, that's my lovely stand in so I can focus. Here is my lovely IKEA desk lamp, which as you can see is sellotaped to an ironing board which is resting on my x -Pol. Um <laughs> Does it get any better? I don't think so. There's my, there's my reflector, yeah, hello. Right, and then here you know, the infamous gobo, made out of a cornflakes box. Um, I don't think it gets any classier than that, really. Uh, uh, pegs, a cheap-ass red lamp, redhead, and uh, a bit of A4. <laughs> that was to create the straight line of the window. Um, so yeah, basically pointing my camera straight at it, probably not the best. And basically, this is kind of my room, and in all its glory, I'm now going to have to clean all this up. Hurrah! But um, thank you for joining me on uh, this little mini adventure of mine, making a short film by myself um, on my week off. One last thing. For all you, um, you know, camera techie guys out there, um, if you're that bothered, probably not. But just so you know, the whole film was shot on the Sony A1E with wide angle lens. You see? There I am. There I am. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sunday, the 8th of April, Easter Sunday. And the weather's miserable, so a bit disappointed I couldn't go car booting. Um, but say so, so rah, so rah, I've been able to work on Awaken. So um, yeah, let me talk to you about that, I guess. Right, um, I've made lists actually because I get the feeling I waffle a lot. So I've got lists, what I need to do, and what I need to waffle on about. Um, so yeah, so. Saying I started off with no script, um, just images in my head, I think um, it's, well, I've kind of pulled it off in a fashion. Um, <laughs> uh, I assembled a rough sequence um, yesterday. Normally when you've shot something, you'll find that... Um, there's a million things that you didn't notice at all shooting that come up in post and you're just like, oh my gosh, you know, how am I going to get around that? 
But really with this, I mean, there's only like, what, 12, 13 shots, so it's not exactly, you know, a feature film. But, <laughs> um, there have been a couple of things that sort of come up. Um, the main one being the mirror. Uh, when the door opens, um, on the wide, when I'm walking in and faffing about in front of the mirror, you can see all the junk. So I've had, what I've done is I've taken the beginning of that shot um, and cropped it around the mirror and then feathered it. And I think generally you'd be able to get away with it. You have to think big screen. Um, and on the big screen, I mean, you have to be so particular with all of this because big screen, yeah, amplified. Uh, yeah, when I was focusing for my face doing the makeup, um, I focused, I thought, because the mirror is just a plain flat mirror, whatever you focus on that's in the, in the mirror itself should be fine. So I focused on the orange picture that was hanging on the wall. And obviously the wall was back there and I was stood there in front of the mirror. Now I'd measured for that object instead of for me. So when I punched in for Mr Chuckles close up, um, he was completely out of focus. So that was a bit worrying. But you know what, I seem to have gotten away with it, so thank goodness. Whew. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to JPEG the dead face out, create a still of that, take it into Photoshop, draw around the image, and create the rest of the canvas invisible. So I can just plonk that back in, and then that should overlay onto the shot with me looking at the dead face. Get meaningful cutaways. They will help save your scene, especially if you're using an inexperienced actor or possibly a professional actor. With, with the style of it, I mean the whole the composition of the frames um, and everything. Basically, the action I've sort of tried to keep it in the middle. Um, I mean, I wanted it sort of, you know, sort of middle towards the right. You know, you always look to the left, to the right. Um, as a, as a audience, you look to the screen left first. That's why savvy actors, um, they always get themselves on the left side of the screen. Very savvy, very savvy. Because you look left to right, same as you read left to right. Obviously, in the Eastern world, it's a bit different. But, you know, Western world, left to right. When she's sort of turning around and she's seeing it and she's having to take it all in, I've thrown people's eye line all over the place to sort of get them a bit rattled. Um, also, I've played with the idea of shadows. So, at the very beginning, you don't see um, her, her get up out of bed. You see her shadow and then the feet step in. I wanted to play with that, and then when she's walking away from the bed, the bed's still made, and there's there's still a bump in it in her side of the bed. So I mean, obviously she just done that with the duvet, but the bed's still made. So um, I've played with that, played with shadows a lot. Um, why not? You know, nick a bit of sixth sense. Thank you, I'm not Shama Lama Lam. <laughs> Taking bits that I've observed from films I've seen and using that and trying to sort of incorporate that um, in in it you know like the glint in the eye I like that Santa Claus you know the glint glints in the eyes and you know the shadows and the the out of focus and the in focus you know that depth of field and um, sort of been trying to sort of emulate that and play play with that and I don't think it's come off that badly for saying how I shot it. As an experiment, worked really well. I'm looking forward to locking down the memory lane stuff, incorporating the family video stuff and, and the stills. Didn't want to stick the, the end bit on where there's me, um, my mum saying, you know, she doesn't want to be an actress. 
but then I thought to myself, well that's what makes it personal. It's my film at the end of the day, I want to do what I really like. You know, <laughs> if people at the film festivals don't like it or whatever, they can go and... So, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I think if there's any, any time, any opportunity for getting that scene, <laughs> uh, it's, it's probably this.